um, delete the, everything before. So I'm going to start this video from now, okay? So, hey guys, welcome and welcome to the chat, welcome to the channel. Uh, I say it's your channel because it is your channel because it's the content that you deliver. So I've just spent a little wee while messing around with this system to try and get it so that it sounds okay and hopefully it does. I've been reassured by the, you guys on the uh, on the uh, chat that it does sound good. And so therefore, here we go. Now... Uh, you will notice that uh, one of the com one of the uh, the tokens and coins that I was looking at today, and I've also put it in the description, is a coin called Audio, and Audio is doing extremely well right now. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to type in there Audio Coin. There it is, from earlier, and I'm going to turn around and show you this. Okay, and one of the funky things is it's got this nice little bit of music here. Uh, which you guys may hear, may not, as I've been messing around with sound. It's probably best I don't mess around with this too much. But it is uh, talking about the fact that, uh, stop it just in case, uh, that audio, that TikTok had a choice. You know, obviously, they've got many choices of who they can use to choose uh, for their music. And yet they could have gone with Apple Music. They could have gone with Spotify Music, but they didn't. They chose Solana's um, Ethereum-backed uh uh, toy, uh, token this audius or audio uh, as they like to be called and uh, yeah so audio is uh, a great token it's an erc20 token and uh, which means basically it was, it's been made on the ethereum open source chain and uh, able uh, yeah it's, it's, it's great it's it's just it's just fantastic and one of the reasons why i feel that it's so fantastic is i did a video about two weeks ago just telling you guys the coins that i'm invested in and a little bit of the reasons as to why i'm invested in them and that was about 10 coins to say hey here's what i'm invested in luna matic polygon uh, audio one and some others which i can't think about right now chilies was another one that i'm invested in and audio was one of them. And so for audio now, when we go on to audio and have a look, I've just had a little kind of DIO. If I just take it off and then bring it back up again, there it's in there somewhere. But yeah, if we go into audio and have a look, you'll see that if we go from the uh, from the opening today, uh, yesterday, sorry, from yesterday to where we ended up closing today, We've got 160% move just there. I think it's a little bit more than that. But that we've got 160% move in just two days. And today isn't even over yet. And normally when you get these massive spikes up the way that they're going now, they ended up they end up going and making an all-time high during the day on the, on when it's, you know, hugging tight the Bollinger Band and it's sort of breaking out, right? You, what normally happens, it goes up, hits its peak, comes down, scares everybody and then kind of finishes two thirds up the way and then ends up moving over and making uh, a new day and then it will do whatever it wants to do. But the hype right now is about TikTok. Now, if TikTok is probably, probably for most of you viewers, uh, maybe, um, maybe but probable, is TikTok is one of these things that you've heard of but you might not actually have it yet. Well, it's the new, it's the new YouTube, it's the new Instagram. It started off with people just being able to do like, uh, you know, uh, f five second videos, fifteen second videos, and then it went up to a minute. You could do a minute, and now you can do three minute videos, which means that whatever content the people want to get out there needs to be quick, bang to the point. There's my content. Move on. Otherwise, it doesn't capture people's attention. They don't stay with it. Um, therefore, TikTok for me has been amazing. Um, so I've done TikTok videos over the last three weeks every day. It's easy. It's simple. It's on my mobile phone. It's not uh, causing problems with sounds and things because it's just an app that works on your phone. What can go wrong, right? And um, yeah, so TikTok is 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 the next thing, right? So for audio now kind of to be in the crypto space, but not have actually achieved anything big for us to be sitting at these kind of areas is nothing when you consider that TikTok is just growing and growing and growing and therefore audio uh, or, or audius is just going to keep growing and growing with it. Great, great stuff. Really, really pleased for them. Uh, they deserve it. Their team have worked very hard to get to where they've got to yet. So really bullish. Even now we've had this massive rise of maybe a little bit of FOMO setting in. Maybe the FOMO hasn't even started yet because people don't even know what's getting on about it. Maybe this video going out onto YouTube will have a little bit of a knock-on effect as people start to realize what's going on. Uh, the RSI is at 85. They kind of normally, they normally tap out around about 90 and anything over 90 is spectacular. Um, and 
whilst the moves have gone up so high for it not to be at 90 at this stage um it's pretty good with the rsi as well i'm quite i'm quite impressed and pleased with that too i'm gonna get into the chat in a second so i'll just read what you guys have got to say just in case you can't hear me i sound like a smurf maybe the video is not coming up or something else i've got a beer, bit of a bee in my bonnet right now because my computer's been playing up so feeling quite stressed excuse me so hyped up and stoked up on audius this audio um one of the things uh that i i said in my discord for my trading signals by the way guys if you haven't already and i know that i don't deserve it but if you wouldn't mind liking the video that would be great is in the in my videos let's just um let's just uh bring up some embarrassing stuff right now i'm just going to talk you guys into a little something that you might have seen happen and this is not me begging or asking for any money i'm not doing it for that reason but I think it's worth you guys knowing how people do it. When you see people bringing out content that's worth something, like this guy here, Rocky Outcrop. Um, this is one of his videos. Uh, it was streamed 20 hours ago, so this was yesterday's video. If ever you guys want to give him something, a little bit of a tip to say thank you, what you got to do is you go down and you, 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 you go into his description where it says show more. If you go into the show more, you see these links here that he's put in here for, for his benefit, but also for our benefit as well, because there'll be there'll be links occasionally to things that he feels that are, are worth are worth uh, investing in or whatever. So if you go into join Discord, then what will end up happening is that'll bring you up to that'll bring you up to uh, and, and allow you to come into this area here. And it's not going to allow me into that, is it? um it's not going to allow me into that is it so let's get rid of that one uh if it's not going to allow me into there okay so never mind uh let's have a look at something else then so what the discord does is it gives us the ability in fact what one easier way of me showing you is if i go on to um onto my discord now i'll show you live on my phone so here you go this is what the discord looks like okay on my phone you can, I don't know if you can see that um, it's probably not helping with the lighting maybe that might help a little bit having a bit of a bit of a, another light in there I don't know has that made it worse go and go that way okay so that's what it is and in there you can go into um, yeah into there you've got loads of different subheadings and one of the subheadings in there at the minute is called trading signals for patrons and uh, it's something that I've decided to do. Maybe Rocky might decide to do it one day in the future. Who knows? Uh, but what you would do is you go into Rocky's page. And then you follow that link that I showed you just then. So you're going to show more. And you go into Patreon. Click Patreon. Uh, not Patreon. And you click on to um, uh, uh, stream. Uh, sorry, go on. Guys, Discord. I'm looking for Discord. Where's your Discord, Rocky? Patreon. YouTube channel. Discord via Patreon. Join the Discord via Patreon. Okay, so yeah, click onto there. That'll take you onto the Discord. Okay, that's fine. And that's how you become a member of the community. It's free and you can interact with people on there uh, who, are, uh, who are, some of them are traders, some of them are uh, just enthusiasts, either in the crypto space or the AMC, GME kind of community. Uh, the other one is a YouTube member. So you could become a YouTube member. And the way that you do that is if you click it, then it'll come up and turn around and it will give you Rocky's... Um, uh, YouTube membership so that you can turn around and uh, sort of uh, be able to donate him five pound or ten pound on some kind of super chat or something and uh, then he ends up getting this this little bit of money that comes into this jar like this and then you can send him a little message saying hey Rocky would you mind looking at GME for me on the four hour time frame or whatever it might be and you could send him a question and a little bit of a tip and that's how you do it so if ever you've been wondering how people are sending uh, money on these live streams that's how you do it so if you look into my channel and go down you can do that um right so that's one of the other th one of the things and then the other thing that you can do is become a patron and a patron is something where you turn around and say okay i'm happy to give you x amount a month say it's five pound a month ten pound a month twenty pound a month hundred pound a month a pound a month whatever it might be that you can turn around and say that you're happy to give that person and now in the chats you'll see that sometimes people have beer bottles um or drinks bottles next to their names uh, on rocky's chat so here look 
as people start putting their things in there, they get beer bottles next to their names. And that's something that Rocky's, uh, you know, that decided that would be good and good fun for anybody that, that turns around and, and writes on, on his video. He They will then end up getting a beer bottle. And the longer they become a member, the more full that beer bottle comes. Well, that's because they've become patrons. How do you become a patron? Go into there and it says support stream with Fiat. Uh, YouTube membership, so I got it the other way around. My bad. So to 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 have that that beer bottle and to become a a, a patron, uh, that's what you're looking there. You're looking to become. This is where the heart shape is. Become a member, and that's a YouTube membership. So that's where you need to be if you want to have that. And this is where you want to be if you uh, just want to give him some money with your with your cash. And that's how it kind of works with that. I think mine's ever so slightly different in here. If we just go, I've got four people watching. There's my ugly mug. And yeah, so in here, I've got these these different ones here, right? So I've got a few different things here. So uh, on here, I've decided to say, if you want to give a donation, I'm here. So you click that one if you just want to give a donation. If you want to become a patron, that is that you want to give me a, a set amount each month, $5 a month or something like that, or whatever it is, then you end up clicking that one and it'll take you and then you become a patron. And uh, these are the, these two here, I've got a Binance one and I also wanted to give you guys a... Um, I also wanted to give you guys a uh, a Coinbase one so that you guys could click it. If you click Binance now, it will set you up with a Binance account where you can turn around and uh, sign up using this referral ID. So you get 20% discount uh, on and a little bit of free crypto with uh, with some of your um, with uh, Coinbase. So yeah, so that's what it is that's going on on these ones down here. So there we go. So that's the situation. So if you guys didn't know, now you know. Right. So that is uh, that is Audius or one coin. Okay. The next one is Luna. Now Luna is something that I've been calling out on my TikTok videos uh, every day, f consistently, and it's also something that in my Discord, uh, which I'm telling you, what I'm going to do. I'm just I'm going to bring my Discord up um, because I want you guys to see how great the Discord is, and it is free, and because it's free. Uh, I think that anybody that's not in it is missing out. So I'm just going to uh, let you guys in to the Discord. Yes, log me in. So now I can bring it out over here to you guys. Press OK. And go on to, these are the different ones that I'm on. Um, and Rocky Outcrop is the channel. Um, that we are on here. So in the tea room, you got people all talk in the tea room. This is my little video that's come up now. So anybody who's watching this uh, may have very well clicked on this link just here. Okay, so that's that one there. Now moving to uh, this is my one. This this Bitcoin logo, and in here I have got, for example, in this area, uh, in the trading signals for patrons. Um, in here, there are areas where I've said about Luna's kicking off, and I'll let you know as it time goes on uh, where about the takes profit is. So this is where this is like a uh, a paid members area, which I've just started up uh, putting you know trading signals into, and Luna was one of them. Why did I put Luna in there? Well, I put Luna in there because uh, I can just uh, move that over to there now. Is because if I bring up Luna. Luna is doing really well and the way that I knew Luna was doing well is because of something that people will have heard of and hopefully you will have looked at my videos on divergence. Uh, one of them is called Hidden Bullish Divergence. Now Bitcoin is sh uh, Luna is shooting up against Bitcoin and Bitcoin itself isn't doing too bad. You know, it's it's, it's been doing really well just recently. But Bit what ends up happening now is Luna's ended up going up the way and as we've got these two higher higher lows here just confirming that we are in an upward trend and we're above this 20 SMA of the Bollinger band, we've we've got this kind of um we've got this uh, this these two lows here but we've got a lower low so that's uh, if you think of it as being like a catapult black widow catapult or an elastic band where you you pull the catapult back and then you let go and it projects the projectile forward whatever it is that you've got in there uh, and and away the price goes so yeah 
this is hidden bullish divergence. So as soon as this came into play, this hidden divergence, which I knew was hidden divergence, and it was a confirmation when we ended up getting the close here because it confirmed that that was definite higher higher low. Whilst this ended up happening and confirming that this was a lower low on the uh, on the um, RSI, we know now that it's bullish diver hidden bullish divergence. So the price was going to go up, and then of course the next uh, uh, take profit price we would use the Fibonacci lines, which is what I did. Uh, I've used the Fibonacci lines and the fibs have ended up giving me the 0 0.18 as being a partial take profit. So it's time there that I would take off 50% uh, of my uh, investment and just keep doing that. And every time we end up reaching new highs, just take half on a double. And that way you always end up keeping the same amount that you've always invested in. But when it doubles up, you end up taking your half. And this is kind of for hodlers. This is the way forward for you to make sure that your investments end up staying tight and tidy and clean and that you don't end up losing money if you take half on a double. It's a, it's a strategy that's been going around for loads and loads of years. Loads of years. Loads of years. Right. So what have we got in the chat? Uh, Simone Cooper says it takes practice. I'm assuming she's talking about me and my fabulous system of things. Um, right. And there we go. All right. So Luna, another one. Theta. Theta is what I'm wearing now. It's what my hoodie is. Is what's on my hoodie. Okay. Theta. Theta's doing great. Look. See this? Theta. Theta. Theta is an awesome project. But Thought is an awesome project. And the reason why I'm so bullish on Theta is because Theta is Theta is a is a is, it allows streaming of high definition and at low cost. Okay, so when you think about streaming, you think about platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Now TV, and all the rest of it, YouTube even. And whilst uh, we know that okay, they need they need streaming. Technology is getting better, and our computers and our televisions and our mobile phones are getting better. And it's coming to the point where to transfer enough data for us to have things in high definition like 4K, 8K, 60 frames per second, um, etc. They are we we need new methods of being able to move this amount of data quickly, but cheaply. And Theta has set out their set Theta have set out their goal to uh, achieve this, and they're doing a fantastic job. So Sony. Samsung, they've all become what they call uh, nodes in in um, in the space. Let's bring up some. Let's bring up some Theta. Show you guys a bit about Theta. Um, okay, so Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube, he also uh, you know pretty much states what I've just said is Theta's innovation to, uh, is is set to disrupt today's online video industry much the same way as the YouTube platform did to traditional video back in 2005. One of our biggest challenges has been the high costs of delivering audio to various parts of the world. And the problem is only getting bigger with HD, 4K and higher quality streams, said Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube. I'm excited to be part of this next elevation evolution of uh, the streaming space, helping Theta create decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network that can offer improved video delivery at low costs. So Node Guardian, uh, so, you, so these are the different sort of like... Um, to, to be a part of it and to get that what I was speaking about earlier this proof of stake instead of proof of work is that uh, is that y you know you've got different types of uh, nodes uh, and the more money you have invested in Theta uh, the higher up the node uh, validator you can become and therefore uh, you know uh, your staking rewards uh, get better but who are involved in this well the enterprise validator nodes so the, the guys like sort of like up here are people like Google, Sams Sony, Samsung. Have you heard of these guys? CAA. Have you heard of Binance? Yeah, I've just shown you them. Yeah, so all these guys are all part of the um, enterprise validator node, so the top ones. So these are really heavily, heavily in there, and YouTube would be in there too, okay? So awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, problem at the moment uh, is to get this stuff, this content creator for me, like as a content creator, to you guys what ends up happening is it gets censored. So if I start turning around and speaking about things that I'm not allowed to mention, uh, um, 
uh, it will stop me if it's uh, if it's stuff that you know I feel that you guys need to know uh, and and it doesn't like it it can stop me if you guys want to give me um, uh, donations or or some kind of support financially so that I can continue to spend all day looking at uh, looking around online for the next uh, good thing to invest in uh, for you guys to send me money they take a little bit of a cut etc so this is the problem from a creator's point of view and the viewer's point of view your money doesn't get there my content doesn't get to you when you do send money my way I don't get all of it so they just get in a vault and this is the this is the problem mix okay that's the problem mix. Well, the solution is them turning around and saying, "Boom!" From the viewer to the to the to to the you, there it is. We're not going to get involved. It's completely decentralized. It's 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 open source. We're not going to get involved in it. You guys have got it. So yeah, it's a shout out to them really that that when when we do end up getting some um when we do end up getting some uh, what's the word I'm looking for some platforms that uh, Theta uh, allow us to uh, stream on then this is going to be where we're going. Uh, great stuff. Open source protocol, this this is what I was talking about. So there probably is some stuff there. I've heard of these guys. Um, I've heard of these guys shout, but they're just not big enough yet. But when, when these guys do get bigger, um, then this is where people like YouTube are going to end up going and suffering because, um, yeah, because there's, there's advertisements everywhere as well, adverts. Well, the whole concept of this open source and all the rest of it, there won't be any adverts either, which is going to be good. So, yeah, all good stuff. So, Theta is going to be a great thing. Look, all we're going to do, guys, is look to the future. Say, so where do we want... Where do we want the future to be? Because that's what they did back at dial-up. When we were when we first getting involved in um, in the internet and it was on dial-up and it's like this internet thing, you know, you want to download a song on a peer-to-peer -peer software thing. You were waiting five days for a song to happen. What was the vision? Well, I wish I could just double-click and the song was there. Well, now we're streaming on the go. We can listen to it and I can listen to various things and download and um, and, and, and watch films at the same time. And this is where it's going Back then, you just used to wish and say, well, the future's got to be faster internet where we haven't got to download. And go back even further than that when we had the Commodore 64s, the Amstrads, the Ataris, the VIC-20s, all these old computers. What was the deal? Well, the deal was one day we'll just be able to go on the computer and play the game. You won't have to stick a cassette in there or, or a floppy and end up going for a coffee and lunch or something out for an afternoon tea and then come back and you can play Pac-Man, yeah? It was a matter of just wanting to be able to put your cartridge in and play it then they uh then they ended up happening uh you know sega ended up coming out with a mega drive master system mega drive and we ended up having a cartridge and it was instant play and uh yeah then it was well, well i want to be able to play with my mate but he lives up the road and that's when online gaming ended up coming and where are we now well we're at a place where we don't want adverts and stuff you know and we don't want to uh, we, we you know we don't want to we don't want to have um videos taken down because the the you know when jamie turns around and goes on one of his nutty ones on uh, about gme and 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 talking about uh hedge funds turning around and you know technicals could be perfect and great and and, and you could turn around and stick a trade on then so you get some um you know hedge fund that turn around and, and mess it all up so that your trade goes goes wobbly uh well people that know what they're doing and know how to read technical analysis like myself like rocky like a lot of the others on that discord and uh, they should be able to put their trade in and they should be able to make money because of the work that they put in and and, and get into the stage that they're at okay and uh and then for it to then get manipulated it is a source of frustration so yeah just like that manipulation happens when he gets and gets wound up and upset or whatever we what we want to we want to listen to him get up enraged and upset and, uh, about things so that we can feel his pain and hurt or whatever and, and 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 understand where it is that he's going and when he rages out then you know he can turn around and explain to us why he's feeling the way that he's feeling and what we can do about it but then when they delete the video we don't get to hear that part of it because they've deleted it well theta is going to be uh, eventually they're going to have this or well they've already got it but eventually we will all start using these forms of entertainment as opposed to um as opposed to going onto onto uh, YouTube and stuff. All right, uh, unless YouTube decide to uh this Steve Chang guy and all the rest of them decide to uh yeah, look into it and and do it right instead of doing what they're doing. Anyway, okay, so these are these are the developers. Yeah, I'm not going to go into all of these. I don't know all of them, uh but I know that I know that Theta is just just a great project. Okay, fine. Luna uh, have we done Luna yet? I've gone into a little bit about Luna, L-U-N-A. Uh, I'm sure these are with Sola. 
Um, uh, ba, 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 Terra Luna. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I've done that one earlier. Uh, this is what I was saying earlier about Sol. Um, um, Solana. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's fine. I won't go into that one. But this is a this is a nice little um, read here, actually, guys. I read that earlier. Um, but there's a specific part that I was seeing earlier. Uh, maybe it was this one. I know it's something to do with these NFTs. It was just saying that it's all to do with um, uh, money and what's the word I'm looking for? Scalability. That's what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, this this must be it. Yeah, here we go. So you guys remember me reading that out on the first on the first video that I did that ended up going all funny. Yeah. So Solana and Terra's uh, rise, according to analysts, reflects the market's increase in demand for higher uh, scalability, as the uh, recent non uh, NFTs uh, craze has brought crypto to more mainstream market, and many investors and traders continue to bet on Ethereum's impending migration from a proof of work to a proof of stake. Uh, so yeah, sorry guys that listened to this earlier. Um, I know I'm not a cat was on here, and I think um, there's a couple of others as well. Uh, so yeah, what I was basically saying is that proof of work is very difficult uh, for the world, for the planet. It's proof of work is all about uh, mining, uh, uh, you know, different mining uh, platforms, and uh, because of the mining and the and the industry uh, uh, needing bigger computers to be able to fix these algorithms so that they get a little bit of uh, reward uh, that there's another type of way of being able to have a cryptocurrency uh, on computers not using tremendous hashing power or or, or I I electricity usage uh, graphics cards and gpus and, and and everything to try and keep these comp uh, these uh, projects going like bitcoin that they that the ethereum is migrating to a proof of stake where they where people can still get re rewards for owning uh, ethereum 2.0 uh, but instead of it instead of it being by mining it's by staking so having your money on there and becoming like the others like being node runners or or just holding them so that they can then be a part of uh, uh, basically a, a security guard owning the coin will mean you're a security guard if you like you're a person or without doing anything automatically your computer becomes a part of that security and uh, ledger system and uh, make sure that there's no um, what's the word I'm looking for no uh, anomalies and if there are uh, any anomalies within the uh, within the, the system then you become proof of whether the anomaly you become a witness if you like whether the anomaly took place and yeah this is proof of stake and Algorand have already done what Ethereum 2.0 are doing, which is why Algorand is on my radar as being a fantastic project, because Algorand has something called pure proof of stake because of the way that they uh, that they work. So it's all really, really good stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's that one. So moving over to, uh, uh, are you guys following me? Am I am I all right with you guys? I'm just rabbiting on. I'm quite happy in my own little bubble here, but yeah. Um, uh, Simone Cooper says, you're fabulous. That's very kind. Very uh, I, I'm curious about how you picked up on the fibs on Luna. I was driving, mate, but uh, it was a bit difficult. It was a bit different levels on than one point. Okay, yeah, I can show you that, buddy. No problem. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Simone. Uh, I'm not a cat. You're awesome. Uh, no, like, you're awesome. Simone says, you're fabulous. Very kind. Uh, Christy says, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at these. Uh, uh, okay, right. This is the thing, right? When you're in an asset class where it's never been before, it's in unknown territory, you've got nothing to compare it to. So you can't look at the VPVR, that's these candles on the side. You can't look at them because all they talk about are trading volumes. And as there is no trading volume because you're reaching all new time highs, you can't go on trading volume. You can't go on previous support and resistance uh, from a point of view of looking at the next part of resistance because there's no price history in the past. So you kind of get into what they call no man's land or no man's territory because it's uh, everything about trading and all of the signals either uses the past to, to help you understand the future 
In fact, they all do. Even ones where they say this isn't a lagging indicator, this is a, a predictive indicator. It all uses some form of data. You can't have any kind of projection without data, and data is using data, right? Uh, which which will bring me on to something else in a minute. Just Rocky, are you on here at all? I'd be interested to see if Rocky's kind of listening to Babylon in the background. If you are, buddy, just throw me a, a message. Um, okay, so this is where I'm going from a Luna's perspective. Is Luna didn't have anything, okay? Luna had uh, had nothing. So let me just, uh, I'll hide these Fibonacci lines for now. Um, hide, hide, hide. Right, I'm, I've hidden those Fibonacci lines now. And uh, yeah, so what we've got, let's get a Fibonacci and let's just draw the Fibs going from the, bear in mind this didn't happen two, day, two or three days ago. We weren't here. When I, when I, was, um, when I was talking about Luna about to f uh, pick off, it was down here. And I, and I was very, very confident, very confident at this point here, we were going to go above all time highs, which meant that the Fibonacci line at this, this extension here was about to come redundant and maybe maybe come support but certainly this wasn't going to be a resistance anymore okay so i drew my i drew my line from there and i came down to where i felt was a really good pardon me or i felt was a really good place to have my um have my uh, my fib line and i came down to this hit this this low here which i felt I, I, i'm not a cow are you are you following me now are you are still driving or you are you um or, or are you at a computer where you can see so if you're watching it on a mobile phone, you, these all this is all gonna just dwindle into just blurred, and and I'm just gonna say here, here, here. But if you if you need me to uh, give you some actual actual amounts of where I'm drawing them from, like the the actual amounts, then I will. Uh, yeah, let me know. Yep, still watching. Cool. Okay, so uh, just give me a sec, Chris. I'll come back to you, buddy. Um, okay, so so what I've done is I've drawn it from the top, which is fine, which we, we we all would do, and then I've come down to where you know obviously you come down to where you want. You can come down to here if you want to, um, but I didn't. I chose to come to uh, to I think well I'll tell you where I came to, uh, just to be absolute categoric with you. Uh, let's delete that. Go into the layers and bring back up my fibs. Right. So right. Okay. So it was a local. Right. So <coughs> excuse me. Um, so with these fibs here, yeah, so if, if, oh, they're locked, hang on a sec, unlock, there you go, there you go, cool, okay, so, um, yeah, so with the guy, with regards to the fibs being here, uh, this was a really good place to have the fibs as well, but I noticed that, you see, as you draw your fibs, because I could have drawn them quite easily from, like, these major lows down here, which would have been equally valid, but it, but come in, and what I'm doing, I'm using the dots that come off of the, see, can you see the uh, the dots that come off of the, as, I, as I'm drawing this, it kind of puts dots along the rest of the screen, so you don't have to come over here and do it, yeah, there's, there's kind of those, those hash dots, uh, so I could have come right onto that point just there, and that's fine, but the problem is, if I if I'd have come from these lows here, these bottoms, this doesn't line up, and these tops here don't touch this top, so these fibs to me don't line up and don't add up nicely. So it means that um, that whilst I'm definitely going to use that because there isn't anything higher, that that is the perfect place to sort of draw my fibs from. Um, if I come down, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these lines here and say, okay, well, well, well let's try let's try these lines just here. And then I'm seeing that, well, this didn't come down. And whilst these were okay, we had a load of guys that ended up coming above this. And this little red one ended up going this. And this didn't touch anything. So I'm not really overly too fussed with this one either. So maybe I'll come to these lows here instead. And it was just a, it was just a, a, um, a game of trying to find a, a Fibonacci uh, a peak and trough to come to that was that I was going to be that I was going to be happy with that that I thought yeah that's definitely playing out and and eventually I ended up coming to here um I ended up coming to here as a um as as a a place of of rest if you will and um if I undo now just to yeah that was was it there Looks like if that's locked now, yeah, it is. 
uh, that was the place of rest. Okay, so that was the place of rest, and the reason why I was doing that as the place of rest is 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 this was this was all nice and tidy. Uh, th this here, I've got the six five six one eight and the six six zero. Oh, they're here. This is like the golden the golden pocket for me. This is like where everything turns around. If you get a turnaround in here, this is where I'm 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 happy for I'm I'm happy that the the like number two point. That once I've checked that all the lines line up, I want to make sure that there was a turnaround in these two lines here. This is something you're going to have to go into the settings and just change over. Uh, so I guess really is that is that whilst this this is where the fibs are, they're not perfect. So it tells me that I could I could make these a little bit better, um, and uh, just let's just go in there now. Uh, make sure it's unlocked. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to come down to these this line here here and see if that lines these two lines line up nicely with that v bottom and yes they do they're just lining on that v bottom now and everything is all in line so you got these two bottoms so this w bottom this double double bottom ended up bottoming him out here but this doesn't sit right and this doesn't sit right so then i'm like okay well i don't like any of these you know i don't, I, I don't like any of them none of them are sitting right with me so yeah, I, that was all happening. Anyway, I, that's why I ended up settling for here because uh, I ended up settling for here because that that ticked the box there. You know, you got three candles just there hitting that. You got this big section here where it ended up getting the lines here, uh, and we ended up you know getting the uh, getting the closers of the greens here on this point. And this is just where I ended up sitting it from, but I. I was more interested in 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 finding out where where we're likely to find a take profit from, and I'm I'm just kind of speaking out loud here, and 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 you'll understand where I'm coming from. Why why getting a perfect fib wasn't really that important because if if I come from here right and and go from where I would normally just turn around and immediately without thinking just turn around and say, well, that's my fib point two. I'm going from the high to the low. That's my fibs locked in. Is that is that it's that's 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 one extreme to the other, and I wanted a take profit um, that was going to be something um, that was uh, conservative. So I'm like, okay, well, if I go to there, obviously, as I come up the way and find that uh, as being my next point, you'll notice that this comes down a little bit further and gives me a, a more conservative take profit. Because you you can imagine, can't you, that if I don't put in my take profits there. Uh, then the Fibonacci line never actually the, the the price actually never hit the Fibonacci line on this leg up there, so it, it it's dangerous to play that game. The 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 bigger the fibs, the the um you know the further away your 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 take profit line is. So I'm trying to play things safe here, and uh, this and this is this this uh, fib line here have been drawn in for some time now. It's been there for probably be about two weeks i'll have to look back on previous videos so yeah i decided that i was going to end up having my um yeah i was i was going to come to wherever wherever it was that i was going to have it yeah which i think was about here wasn't it so that those lines are in yeah if if it wasn't it is now because that's that's where i want it i like it because my uh my 618 and 6 uh 610 is right there just where the where that bottomed out on we've got these bottoms here hitting i'm going to ignore this bit here and it's bringing me into a more conservative uh, conserved area but now that we've ended up having this interesting now because now this has happened we've got a little bit more data now so now what we can do is start going and, and going down to the four hour time frame and start drawing our fibs in another way okay so let's just for now i'll just show you where what i'm going to do now is is it's kind of is, is where I'm going to go now. Is now we've got an eye, uh, an eye, a high. I'm going to use this low because I want this bear. I want this bullish divergence. This um, th this area of hidden bullish divergence on the on the daily. I want that in on the fibs because I think that it's relevant. I know that it's relevant. I don't think that it's relevant. I know that it's relevant because it's what pushed the price up. Um, so what I do now is I'm going to draw the fibs again from the top, um, and I'm going to come uh, and I'm going to make sure that they're in here. And uh, yeah, so there's there's the fib lines now, and just to see if they line up, which then brings me over to what I did. So so once you've drawn the fibs from the top to the bottom, right? You then you then uh, you realize. Okay, let me stop. Let me just go back. Hang on, go back to the daily.
this is the problem with doing things live is you can't delete it or go back and turn around and and cut anything out if you make a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. It's just I didn't say something that I wanted to say before I ended up doing it. Right. So I, so I end up going from the high, which at the time was let's go back to the daily. We are on the daily. The 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 high, which at the time was uh, here. Right. Just looking at this previous high. So go from this high, come down to the low here, whichever the low is, so that it all ends up working and wherever I'm happy that the, that it's going to be. Let's say I'm going to decide that it's there. The problem is, is I've gone against the trend, which means that the extensions, I'll call them fib extensions for want of a better word, which is these extensions here, end up going down the way, which is a question that I get asked at least two or three times a week. Either people message me privately in the Discord, uh, or I've got friends that ask me when you talk when you're doing your fibs. How do you know whether to draw from the top up or the bottom down? And uh, and and well, this is the answer. This is my answer that I give to everybody: is you draw them in 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 direction of wherever the trend's going. And at the minute, we're in an upward trend. We know that because we are above the 20 SMA on the daily. And then if I just quickly bring up the week, uh, the 50-day the 50, 50 moving average, just to show you what where I would be going if I'm going to draw the fibs as a fib video, um, is I would bring up a moving average. I'm going to go to, there's your moving average there. Go into here, move him to 50, because that's the official kind of, yeah, the official. Uh, let's get him in a, in a color that's going to stand out. Let's go to there. Right, and let's make him thicker. Right. So when you're above the 50, you're in a bull trend, and that's like categorically. Sometimes you can be in a bear trend, but if over a space of a few days, just being above the 20 SMA, it can uh, show that you're in a in an upward trend uh, locally, but in an overall downward trend. Um, like the whole thing's been in an upward trend, but here on the 50, you know, you could say, well, you're in a downward trend here because you're below the 50 and the 20, but bring up the 200 and you might, you're probably still in an upward trend on the 200. So everything's all relative to the time period you're looking at. But my point here is on the 50 and the, the, the daily, uh, the daily 20 SMA, then we are indeed in an upward trend. So I can get rid of that one now for you. And I'll just get rid of the Bollinger Bands as well, just to make things a little bit more simple. So now I know that we're in an upward trend. Going to uh, going back to those fibs um, and bringing them up now. Well, I know we're in an upward trend, so I wouldn't go from the top down because we're not go we're not in a down trend. Instead, what I'd do is I would go the opposite way and go from the we're going to go from the bottom up because we're in an upward trend. So find your bottom. Uh, in this case, let's go. From the, yeah, that's that's where we decided we're going to go from and end up going to. And I'm just looking at those dots just there. Just look at these dots just here and turn around and say, right, there's my upward trend. And did my 618 uh, end up hitting that, um, hitting that, this this V here, did it hit this uh, 618 here uh, to 650 pocket? Yes, it did. I'm happy with those fibs. In which case, now I can look at price targets up of where's it going to go. Okay, right. <laughs> so now I've cleared all that. This is where my take profits were and are. Uh, is that uh, is yeah I, I've taken some profits off of that now haven't taken it all because I don't know it might continue to go up and uh, yeah which is always going to be my which is always going to be my advice guys is if you're in a if you're in any of these cryptocurrencies it's always good to stay in some of them even if you went into Dogecoin right and Dogecoin went and did a three three thousand move three percent move in a, in a couple of days right by all means, take off, take off a you know major load of your profits. Take all your, you know your 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 big bulk of your money, but still make sure you leave some of it in there. Yeah, it's probably going to come down, but it's money that you can afford to lose. It's just a bit of fluff. But what ends up happening if tomorrow it ends up going up by another three thousand percent? Yeah, you're not kicking yourself. So always leave a little bit, little bit in there. Uh, so with Luna, I've taken some off the table, I've taken a big chunk off the table, actually probably about sixty percent, and I'm going to leave the rest in there. It's over doubled now. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was kind of excited, ready when I was waking up, because I was kind of thinking and hoping we'd end up coming back up here. But when I ended up seeing it up here, I was very, very excited and really, really happy. So yeah, really good stuff. Uh, sorry for me babbling just there. Let me go into the chat and read what some of you guys are saying. Let's have a loop. Uh, I hope that was helpful um, for you there, buddy, uh, asking me about those fibs because um, it was really rough. So you're looking uh, for some confirmation from 
other smaller time frames and lows. Yeah, so looking at other smaller time frames. Now, oh yeah, which is where I was going to go. I'm all over the place. It's because I've got people in here. Matthew uh, has messaged me saying, Tony Wright, remember a couple of weeks back when I told you about FTM? Have a look at the weekly, if you could please. FTM, let me write that down so I don't forget, brother. And yes, I do remember. Am I going to be gutted that I didn't go into it? Yeah, great explanation. I'm not a cat. I haven't finished. <laughs> right. So so here we are now, right? So now what's going to happen? Because we've got no history. Like, like we haven't got weeks worth of history back here. And we haven't got anything in the future, of course, uh, that we can look after. But we still have this bearish divergence, which is probably played out now. I mean, that's a that's a really big move to be going up 100, 100 uh, you know, 100 percent is where are we going to go now? And of course, one thing that, um, you know, that, that it doesn't take that Luna doesn't take into consideration is um it never takes into consideration uh, fundamentals because fundamentals just can't technical analysis just can't do that it's not a, it's not a crystal ball um all it can do is look at sentiment and look at price dictating the price you know and and, and fomo and fud all right so what do you do now so we're in this situation where we're in new no man's land we've reached new highs and i've always said that if an asset makes new highs expect it to blast through and blit and blitz through uh, before coming and finding some kind of support right and that's what luna's done that's what um that's what uh, uh audio has done as well and so now what i'm going to do uh, as just a process of thing is now i'm going to just come down to the time frame and what that's given us now is it's not just giving us two candlesticks it's now giving us a lot of candlesticks lots of more orders in the buy orders and now we're looking at more of a normal normal kind of um uh thing so a normal um, fib and uh, normal chart right so I'm gonna go from the top let's get that top on to the top of the candle wick just there and now I'm gonna come down to something of con uh, significance which are probably going to be about here uh, which is nice right really nice that 50% line if I come down here to the 50% line so my 50% line lines up with the 100% of here what we've done now is is we've managed to get the we've managed to get this hugging these areas here of these dips so the one that the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the the zero line if you like ends up hitting nicely with this 50 so the 50 of this becomes the one line and all the fibs are all nicely lining up now so if we don't end up hitting these new highs uh, anytime shortly then we can be looking to come down and find in support so if you want to have a buy entry in now then it's something that you might want to consider to look in at um at this area but we can instead of drawing the fibs the other way around we can go into settings scroll down to the bottom and do what they call flip or reverse so if we reverse this around it was already reversed uh, we can look for this here this being a, a real strong buy order if we end up coming down and and hitting this 618650 area if we end up coming into here be a great time to buy for myself is this money that I took off the table or just simply go back in you know and, and then you, you make the money on the next on the next rally up um, yeah so that's what we do and that's how we do it that's how we roll okay let's have a look uh, can just leave your fibs and hide them on the object tree yes i want to do that great explanation yeah I've, so i have finished now i'm not a cat so there you go cool so mr forest let's have a look so there we go we've got that on there um uh, so yeah i'm going to leave both of them what i might do now is that major major line now i'm going to leave both of them fibs on there whilst it looks a mess i might change the colors after i've finished the video today okay so that's luna let's just go into and have a look at what mr forrest wants me to see he wants me in fact if i've already looked at it then the chances are it's still there and it was uh ftm yeah it's probably going to be down here FTM USDT, woohoo! Brilliant stuff. Nice one, mate. Happy days. So what we can see here is we've ended up breaking these support areas. So if um, you know, let's just start. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna have a look on the weekly for a sec. What he wants me to weekly. Hey, what? It's just what I was gonna do myself. Nice. Okay, that's great. That's really really good. That is really really nice. Okay, that is really positive stuff. Um, okay, let's just carry on and have a look. So we have uh, we have got some good stuff going on here. Okay, so the RSI hasn't come down too far. That's good. Let's bring up the Bollinger Bands whilst I'm here. 
Um, nice one, nice one. So we're above the 20 SMA on the weekly. Uh, that's positive now. We just need to get today to close. So if we, I would say today, this week, we get this week to close above this, uh, you know, on Sunday, uh, to close above that, then that is that is fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, yeah, and our, our, yeah, volume is not, it's not increasing. It would be a shame to see, yeah, I mean, it would be good to see that the volume kind of increasing as the weeks have gone on. Um, but, you know, it is the beginning of the week, so we've still got plenty of time yet for that volume to start showing and improving. Um, yeah, we're kind of, yeah, and if this was a doji and then these would be your three soldiers, then that would be positive. Um, but it's not, but it's still not, it's still not a negative looking thing. So let's go down the time frame to the, to the daily uh we right at this peak here i always look to see if during the bottom dip we ended up going outside of the bollinger band and we also go end up going outside of the rsi i always see that as a bullish sign it's very 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 positive normally when you see that happen so here for example uh, the the price came out of the bollinger band but the rsi wasn't outside of the over oversold area uh, and and likewise so this is bullish and bearish okay um, so likewise, if we hang on, let me just extend him up, guys. This is this. There's not many YouTubers on on YouTube that give all this away for for nothing, right? This is this is stuff you just don't learn in school or college. And yeah, thanks to people like Rocky and me that come on here and just uh, spill away our secrets. Um, okay, so right here's a great one. A perfect opportunity for a short okay is that we ended up coming outside of the bollinger bands and yeah we did here um we ended up coming outside the bollinger bands and the rsi was outside as well and uh we ended up getting this kind of short here we ended up coming outside the outside the bollinger bands here and the rsi was very close to being at the 30 but if we had have come down to the to the low point here i would have seen an even bigger rally but the closer you get to these the, the, the 30 and the 70 when you come outside of the the, the, the relevant uh, rsi uh then it's it's normally a, a, a big uh it's putting me off, you know, I keep seeing, I go like this as I'm talking to you and then I see my picture go and yeah, it's putting me off. Right. My point is, is yeah. So if it comes outside of the RSI here and we end up coming outside of the Bollinger Band, it's a great confirmation that we're going bullish. And if we end up coming outside of the Bollinger Band whilst being outside of the rsi it's a great chance that we're going bearish and that's what we got here uh, this was kind of like a fake out kind of thing but uh yeah ended up ended up going up but we ended up getting lower rsi so that that indicates uh you know bearish bearish divergence and that's what we got not strictly true but we 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 we, we got that okay um Da, 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 da. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, so what would be good now? Right, what what would be good now? Like I was saying earlier on with um, with uh, with that with that Luna, right? Is if we can end up making some hidden bullish divergence. If we get that, it's almost like a, a massive confirmation that we end up going up. So it'd be nice to see. I mean, this is what would be great to see, right? Is if we end up coming down and making a lower. We end up coming down on the RSI on the next sort of retracement down to maybe the 20 SMA. We end up coming down and making a lower high, making a, a lower low, right? But we don't come down and make a lower low than this red, than this red doji kind of looking candle here, right? So we kind of want to come down to about here, say. Yeah, this is this this would be like perfect is we end up coming down to here before we move up as the 20 SMA comes up here. But the RSI comes down here and like that and giving us a <laughs> hidden bullish divergence keep your eye out for that if that does play out if that does play out dm me and let me know um because i'm trying to keep my eye on so many projects uh but yeah phantom is doing well yeah thank you for bringing it out to me buddy and well called well called out on that one mr forest nice one nice one um yeah that's cool well done morris uh matthew Okay, ba -ba -ba -ba. what else is it? Uh, so, uh, Nulls. Nulls is a project where I... Nulls. I was spelling it out on YouTube, on a TikTok, uh, on my TikTok videos. Uh, if you're not on, on my TikTok, guys, it, I just, I'm just a prat on there. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to be professional on uh, on YouTube. Trying to be. Um, but, uh, 
uh, TikTok is just the place where I can just just plank around and clown around and try and make people laugh. So there's lots on there of me, uh, you know, messing around. And uh, yeah, this was last night. Luna, 140%. Just in a few days. I've been telling you for the weeks, and it's just happened. It's just happened. Yeah, so... <laughs> just messing around. But that was yesterday, yeah. And look at Luna. It's gone up again. It went up again. This was last night. So now it's gone up again. Nulls, I mentioned. And it's gone up again today. This is today. I mean, I did this last night when it was down here. Uh, Theta... Um, Theta is just going up. So, guys, yeah, really important. Okay, and I'm just going to finish off really on something, I, and I, and I could, because I feel that if I mention this on every single video that I do, uh, eventually I'm going to have my my own crowd like I've got now, but it's going to be bigger. And if all of you, when you decide to, I, I don't know if any of you actually physically have got a Binance account and you're going on there and you're making trades. Okay, if you are, you're going to make money. You're going to make money if, if you do what it is that I'm suggesting you do, especially because we're in a bull run. Most things are now are, are going above the 20 and the 50 SMA. It's a time to make money, all right? It is now the time uh, for long in the market. And eventually, there's going to come a time where uh, all of these videos are going to end up going into the short inside where I'm going to be talking about, you know, Bitcoin's just reached or this currency has reached a high, it's time to short, okay? But... Um, I know that I'm not a cat. Ended up getting Binance. Uh, I, uh, we, we we were talking online, and he was saying that he was getting he was getting Binance, and and that's fantastic. I'm really pleased for him. Um, I don't think Binance yet yeah, is Binance for uh, for the UK, Christy. Yes, it is for the UK. There is something called Binance US, but I don't even think Binance US is allowed allowing it in in there. But you don't need Binance, guys. There's um there's uh let me have a look. Um, let me get it up. H O B U Y. Okay, check these guys out. Okay, these guys are the, I think they're the second crypto exchange. Hang on a second. C R Y P T O crypto exchange platform list. Uh, right, these are the biggest platform uh, in 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 the um, in the world. Let me get on top. There we go. Right, so these are um, these are the biggest. And well, I'm saying I'm saying safest or strongest. I'm just in coin in 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 terms of 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 uh, strength, coin market cap. Okay, is that is that the um, Binance are number one, and uh, you know your bank accounts, the ones that you own a debit card for, are um, your bank accounts are not safe. You know, people can hack your bank account. People can take you. Um, your money, people can uh, identity fraud and all the rest of that stuff, right? It can all happen to any of us, so your money's not safe anywhere. But one thing that you can be confident about when you go to bed is if you've got a thousand bucks in your in your account, is when you wake up in the morning, if you have been hacked and somebody has done uh, identity theft on you, um, then you can go to your bank because it's backed by Visa and say to your bank, hey, someone's stolen my money. And within the day, by the end of the day, you will have your money back in your account. It won't be your money, and the people that have taken your money will still have it, but the bank will have refunded you your money because it's insured and it's safe. Okay. Binance. One of the things that they uh, claim is that they have never had anybody hacked, uh, in any of their uh, clients being hacked, and they haven't personally, out of their own money, turn around and put the money into the people's accounts. So if you end up waking up one day and your Binance account's being hacked then Binance will uh, turn around and refund you the money that you lose. So Binance is uh, the second it is is probably the second place to store your money other than what they call a hard wallet like a Nano Ledger, Nano S, Nano Ledger X, all these different types of hard wallets where you can put your crypto onto a um onto a ledger system like one of these like just a, a you know one of these ledger systems and that's where your money sits and uh, yeah and obviously it can't be hacked because to get your money off of that you need to have that connected to the platform and if it's in your safe then it's not connected to the platform it's safe right so that's Binance and that's so that's one of the reasons why I am happy to turn around and put my name to Binance because uh, they're safe 
Coinbase, uh, Coinbase are authorized and regulated by the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority, and that is why you can't buy XRP. Now, somebody mentioned earlier about XRP being um, uh, really, uh, uh, you know, really good. Um, uh, but what you know, where do you buy them and all the rest of it? Was well, only recently that X, uh, Coinbase turned around and said XRP. Uh, they're not going to list them, so you can't buy an exchange XRP on Coinbase right now. So Coinbase, if it's something that you want to do and look into uh, uh, XRP, I'm not a cat, then you might, uh, no, I'm not a cat, sorry, Christy. Uh, I would say that Coinbase probably isn't the best place for you. The third one on the list is uh, this one, which is H-U-O-B-I. I always pronounce it Hobie, but that's probably because I'm trying to speak, say, half of that name and also Huawei, which is the mobile phone mobile phone manufacturer but I, I just call it Hobie and Hobie are the third on the list okay according to exchange score uh, they do I believe I have got an account with them they do uh, uh, list XRP and loads more as well now the further and Qcoin which is a, a horrible horrible platform horrible stuff uh yeah i've i've had a real bad run-in with qcoin and don't I recommend that you stay as far away from them as possible um yep so that's um, and then kraken which are a um kraken are are good there's a lot of uh people that swear by kraken and they are um what are they they are they are really leverage trading. So if you turn around and you only have five hundred pound, but you're or five hundred bucks, for example, but you're so confident in an asset that it's going to go up, that you turn around and said, if only I had like five thousand bucks right now, I would buy this asset. Then what you could do is you could turn around and put your five hundred bucks in there, and then do what they call leverage, kind of like option trading or contract for difference, is you end up borrowing money off of the off of the off of the, the platform the uh, bank if you like and you use their money to to make you a load of money now they don't mind you doing that because they're like well if you end up losing it then we're just going to wipe your balance and take your money um and you're like yeah well you can do that i don't care because i'm really confident it's going to go up and then you go up uh, and then you, you do it you do your leverage trade if it works out for you it's fantastic because it means that you've just betted five thousand dollars which is money that you didn't have so when you hear people say never invest more than you can afford to lose, ask yourself this question, is leverage trading using more than you can afford to lose? Uh, because if it's not, then why leverage trade? Why not just put in $5,000 and buy $5,000 worth of, uh, of your crypto asset, wait for it to go up and take it all out? The reason why is because leverage trading is for people uh, that want to invest more than we can afford to lose. So it's a dangerous project. On top of that, what happens if you end up getting a credit card and taking your credit card, meaning you can't afford it because you're using a credit card, you put a credit card and you get into debt, so it's not money you can afford to lose, it's money you've lost, and then you put that into uh, an exchange like this, and then you put leverage on it, then it's not a, it's not just money you can't afford to lose, you're taking money you can't afford to lose, and then putting the money you can't afford to lose into the exchange where you can't afford to lose it, and then you're putting it into it, and then borrowing more money that you can't afford to lose to put your trade on, I'm going to stop there, you get my point. I need to go into the chat because I can see that Sheik has messaged me a few times, and I need to know what it is that he's asking. So two seconds, I'll have a swig, I'll have a read, and then we'll go on. Hold fire. My point is, guys, if you stay on the fence and don't buy anything, you can't you can't win it if you're not in it. So get yourself a Binance, Coinbase, or Huobi account. Um, I'll put in the description at the end if you remind me my Huobi link, and you guys should be able to get some discounts because I think I've got a affiliate link in there. So I'll put that in the description for this one. Okay, chic. Not at the moment, Christy. No way of transferring money in or out via banks. Uh, only way is peer-to-peer, -peer, which ain't great. I'm waiting for my stake periods to mature, then transferring everything into hardware wallets. I'm trying coinage, but having trouble with verification at the moment. Okay, Sheik and uh, Christy are chatting, which is nice. I'm not account. I did get Binance, and I'm in the UK cool i'm not a cat we need to link up we need to link up i'm in northampton uh so i'm not i won't be too far away from you because i'm in the middle of the country but it would be nice to meet up uh, i'd like to meet up with rocky and jamie and some other guys in the uk uh at some point uh because they are i consider friends 
I consider them friends. As I do with you, I'm not a cat because you've given me a lot of support while I've been on here. And uh, yeah, we've all got to start off somewhere. And normally the guys that help you at the beginning are the ones that you remember later on, which is why, um, you know, and I don't feel that I deserve anything, but it's why uh, um, Rocky uh, constantly gives me praise uh, uh, on his channel uh, and mentions me when I come on and says hello because he remembers in the days at the beginning where you really don't want to go live. Uh, he was there for, I was there for him when it was those days. And uh, yeah, I'm not a cat has been there for me. Uh, at times where I've not wanted to come on and things go wrong like the computer did earlier, right? Okay. Yeah. Hoobie account. So, let's just um have a little look. And at some point, at some point, I want to go live, you know? So they do XRP, that's good. I want to go live with my trades. I want to turn around and do a day where I'm like, you know what? Here's my account now. I've got, you know, I'll put money in there on purpose, like, I don't know, a couple of thousand bucks or something and say, right, here's a couple of thousand bucks. What trades am I going to do today? Spend a couple of hours looking at the different markets and saying, okay, well, I, I you know, maybe take five and turn around and, and, and put some trades on there. And then you guys can see how I do my, how I do my, um, my pre, uh, trade, um, what it is that I'm looking for before I put my trade on. You can see how I do some leverage trading. Um, and I can talk you through why I'm leverage trading and not just putting the asset in there and all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, and where my take profits are going to be. And it might even be that we end up closing that day um, and I don't take my profits. I leave it open as I go to bed on the on you know, on the hope that the, ne the following day it's gone up. But it will all be technical analysis driven. And uh, yeah, something else that's worth having a look at. Let's, oh yeah, so that's how I be. So if we just go in, I think if I log in, I just don't want to give any personal details. Well, I'm quite happy for you to have my um uh, thing now. I'm not going to do that. No, that's not worked. Um, do, 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 do. I've still got that window cleaning, um, Tony at window cleaner, Northampton address as my uh, email. And that's the problem there um, is that it wants me to lo log in with that. So if you guys ever need to get hold of me, then feel free to use that. Uh, email address is still live and I still go out window cleaning a couple of days a month but that's all I used to have a nice big company in the UK but then I stopped I got a bad back and ended up stopping doing it and now I just keep all of my commercial customers so I've only really got commercial customers that don't do any houses or anything so um, yeah pubs clubs hotels offices ab saving stuff it's all good it's all good fun um Okay, so who are we? So sign up to that if you're in the UK, in 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 uh, in the states. Let me um let me see if I can get in on on it while I'm here. Let me just take you off the um off the page and uh, see if I, I I don't know what the uh I don't know what the password and everything is. Um, let's have a look. See if I can get in, and then I can have a look at what they are doing. And, uh, I think it might be on my uh, my mobile phone. Let's have a look. Hobi. H O H U O B I. Oh, that was Coin Market Cap. Anyway, that wasn't even my um. No thanks. That was my Coin Market Cap. That wasn't even Hobi's website. Hang on. H U O, Hobi Global. Um, there we go. Um, nope, I don't want that one. I want to sign in, log in. Continue. Yeah, so many people complain to me, or not complain, but sort of moan about how uh, Binance are not in the States, but they're called Binance US. I I really don't like if I um if I go onto here, if I open up a new tab right and go onto Binance, B I N A N C E dot U S. So I don't really get it. Look, Binance U S. So, I mean, if you guys can explain to me in the chat and tell me, I'd I'd be really really uh, grateful if you could let me know why Binance U S doesn't offer um, crypto 
uh, in 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 the US. Yeah. Some of you have got to know. Uh, let's try this. Old fire. Oh. Gonna let me in. Save. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna let me in. Sorry, stay with me. Woo! I had 11 seconds left. Right, here we go. Boom. So this... Uh, Tony Wright, trying to send a message, but it keeps getting removed. What unto possibly due to it being a site link? Uh, what are you trying to send me a message on, buddy? On uh, on here? I'm going to sort this cable out. Just hold fire, guys. S excuse me about the green screen and everything. It's just still going to be a mess. Hang on. Right, we are almost. What's going on with market open? Are we there yet? No, we've still got a little while yet. All right. Um, let's stick these onto here for a sec. What's happening is in my office I have got this chair that's got wheels on it, and it's a hard floor because I'm currently in the process of making it into a um, a studio. Uh, for my crypto stuff so I'm like making a den uh, which is going to be really really good fun to use and it's going to make me feel more inclined to get up in the mornings and get out here instead of staying in my bedroom on my MacBook because most of what I do I can do from my bed and in my bedroom I've got a television in there and you know it's difficult because then you you know you want to go to the gym and you get told off by your gym buddy for not going to the gym and then your body tells you off for not going to the gym and then your yearly goals list tells you off for not going to the gym and, <laughs> and then you get told off by your listeners because you haven't come out oh, I forgot I'm not having these on am I because the echo okay well, what we got that's a lot better but yeah, but when the uh, when the studio is made up, it's going to look great in here. It's going to look really, really good. I um, it's going to have wood everywhere, like on the walls, like uh, rustic wood. Um, you know, I've got some Bitcoin logos and emblems and some different cryptocurrency uh, cushions that I want to stick up there and everything. It's just going to be really nice and cozy. And when the winter comes, it's going to be good because uh, did uh, heating engineering and became a, a, a what they call a heat ass engineer. So I became a uh, qualified to fit log burners and log stoves so it's gonna be nice in here to have my log burner and uh, yeah just be really cozy in here 
proper man cave. Uh, and I might even knock the other wall through into the garage. And when I work on my motorbikes, then uh, I'll be able to have uh, some motorbikes in the background as well, which will be really cool. Right. It says possibly due to this link. Uh, l yep. Looking at uh, sh shrimpy to do to IO. OK. I'll have a look at that in a minute, Matthew. Um, automated rebalance on Binance and other exchanges, plus others can follow your trades live through which you can uh, charge a monthly fee or a percentage for profits. The crypto den. Yeah, the crypto den. That's the one. It'd be good. I think it'd be good. I think it'd be good. Yeah. So the, uh, okay, so, so so here's the situation, right? This is This is the situation and it's the facts. The facts. If I go live with my trades and I turn around and say, okay, guys, so, so here we go. This, let, let me, let me do, don't do anything, right? I'm not telling you to do any trade on this, right? But let's just start and let's say this is going to be one of those occasions. So it's good morning, guys. You know, it's this day, it's this day. Just looking at some trades that we're going to be putting in today. We are looking at the trades that came out yesterday. It did really well. Let's take our profits. You know, the, the, the automated uh, take profits ended up kicking in. And this morning, we've got a balance of blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm just looking at the Bitcoin dominance. And that's looking down to come to our positive turnaround. So it looks like we've at least got another day or two days, uh, you know, maybe the end of this week. So the altcoins are going to make some uh, some possible uh, uh gains right so let's have a look at what altcoins we can invest in let's just look at tether well tether's doing the opposite it's giving us an inverse head and shoulders looking for our take profit line to be up there so it looks like that tether right now this is the hoodie that i'm wearing looks like it's gonna do really well so why don't we get our trades in and and, and look at an entry point are we likely to have a come down here before we end up taking further off well in order to do that let's just come down a time frame and have a look to see if we've got any ideas of no the take profit should have really been uh, when we hit this 20 SMA so are we going to get another touch before we can go further up looks like not we've got a W pattern coming there on the hourly looking bullish volume was increasing there on the hourly uh, yep so just there we had a consistent amount of volume as we've been going up over the whole day today so far on the four hourly uh, volume decreasing so we might not get the volume to push it up today the uh, last four hours is four, eight, twelve, one. So this is kind of just starting. No, today's uh, volume might only finish here. So not looking great on on, on today, but uh, with a volume point of view, but uh, on the four hourly, yeah, okay. So it looks like potentially more towards the end of the week before we end up going up. But it doesn't look like we're going to get anything on the four hourly or the one hourly that says it's going to come down. Whilst we haven't got the momentum from the um, volume to help push us up the way uh, what we have got is we have got we have got confirmation now that we're not going to come down it's going to be unlikely uh, for us to come down and retest this four hour here so probably a good entry level maybe just here so let's get this entry level in at eight dollars here right so we're going to go in eight dollars we'll stick along in eight dollars and we'll end up taking profits let's have a look at some previous resistance to see if there's anything that's confirming uh, that on the 382 here so here's the 382 of these fibs where's the where's the let's get a line so that we can start moving it around to for a find a good take profit let's stick this line in here and let's look around so we've got some we've got a couple of lines here but no, nothing there let's keep going until we find as, as many stops on that line as possible so yeah i would say then that the that, that 382 just here this white line this 382 is probably going to be a great take profit but we did get some resistance just here at the nine dollar 38 cents so let's just bring that nine dollar 38 dent cents let's bring that down to these wicks just here and here just to be confirmed to make sure that we definitely get a take profit so let's put up let's put our, our trade in at eight dollars we're going to go long let's but put our money into a load of tether and we'll take our money out just there i'm not going to put any leverage in it's just something that i'm going to go in and do and i'm going to do that as soon as this video is finished or i'm going to do that now let's do that now let's put that money in so let's go on to the exchange let's go on to uh blah 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 i've never used this before so what have we got uh, tether t-e-t-h-a so we've got tether no um not tether uh, theta, sorry, T H E T A, spanner. Uh, let's put an A in there. That might help. Um, what we got? 
So we can trade it on, on Huobi. We can trade it on, it, I just don't use this platform, that's why. It is uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, or or Tether. Let's say we got it in Tether because that's what we, we, we were looking at just here, right? So it's going to give us a warning there to turn around and say, you haven't done this before. Do you know what you're doing? And they're not liable for you to lose all your money. So there you go. So you got all your money there. You turn around and say, well, I'm going to end up sticking a load of money in and I want to put my uh, stop limit so you turn around and put your stop limit in and turn around and say well I'm, i don't want uh you know if it ends up break coming below this uh this area here if it ends up coming down to seven dollars let's say seven dollars seventy seventy let's just go a little bit yeah seven dollars seventy then i'm gonna have my stop loss so you put your stop loss in there at seven seventy um seven seventy and then you end up doing it right Okay, so that's what you do. You go through it all. You turn around and say, I'm not going to put any leverage on there. I'm really, really confident in that trade. Everything's really good. Everyone's copying me, right? Everyone's copying me. And then everyone goes, the chat isn't on screen. What do you mean? Hello? <laughs> he isn't seeing the chat. I can hear you guys. I'm, I'm here. A crypto down crypto. The chat isn't on screen. The chat? Why not? <gasps> Oh no. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are really funny. You, cause, like you're panicking thinking, "Oh no, we're missing it. We should be copying this. We should be copying this." I was I'm doing this to prove a point, right? Or to show you guys something. Right, don't worry. I will sort it out. Let me go and <laughs> so this is funny. Um right, let me bring up uh this one and find out what's going on. Right, window capture. It's saying XRP, Binance, how to sell. Um, nope. Just hold fire. I'm with you guys. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so this is this is nice and easy. Let's let's get rid of some of these. So this is the reason why. Um, I'm going to turn around and uh, bring him up. And I'm going to turn around and make him copy. Panic not Carruthers. Delete that. Yes, leave. Go on to there. Paste him in there and press enter. And within two clicks, one click, two click, we're here. Okay. And now let me just go on to the chat to make sure you guys can now see me. Just minimize this for a sec. Right, are we good? Don't panic. <laughs> ah! Okay. All right. Yep, that's good. Okay, I'm going to move him over there. Because I think that's important that I have that. This has been a long-ass video today. Do you know this? What happens is eventually it gets too big. The videos get too big that you can't clip it. So this video will not be on. Once this video finishes, it's dead. It's deleted. Because I won't be able to edit it on the uh, YouTube app. And it's too, it'll be too long to download. I think as soon as it goes over five hours or something, and I'm almost there. Been streaming for a long time now. Okay. Um, hello, Tony. Hello. Hey. Two friends of mine there. I've got my uncle, Anthony, um, and my uh, and my mum, Margaret. <laughs> cool. Okay. So... Making a point here, guys, that the difficulty of having a, a group where they see you trade is as follows. So I've just done, I've just gone on and I've decided that uh, Bitcoin dominance is showing me that Bitcoins are likely to continue to do very well over the next three or four days. So if you're in any, not Bitcoin, the other one, the altcoins. So if you're in any altcoins, and I know that some of you are, then um, altcoins are going to continue to rise. By looking at the dominance, everything's starting to fall. Um, it's starting to fall on the 20 SMA and we're starting to come down to this uh, sort of what I would call a take profit line or, or at least a measured move of this head and shoulders pattern on the dominance, okay? 
Now, when we go to Theta, which is where I'm going to look at, because this is the uh, hoodie that I've got on, Theta is given as an inverse head and shoulders, which means bullish. And it shows us that the take profit is up here at around about $9.50. Okay. So if I was going to start trading this, then I would use this uh, Huobi app, which I am not trading and I'm not using. But if you're in the United States, then let me let me um let me do this now for you um because if i go on to uh here and turn around and uh know more about vip let's get this let's get this okay advanced insider what the hell i just i just want to give my friends some stuff just want to give my friends some stuff locked 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 six i never use you I never use them. Premier, Insider, Advanced. No. Get 170. Let's have a look. Get started. Complete. Okay. So this is uh, yeah. I'd, I'd need to. I'd need to go into these guys. I've got a, an account with them, but I've never used them. And because I've never used them, it stops me from being able to give you guys any discounts. So, yep. Yeah, um. Sorry about that. You're just gonna have to go in and. Just gonna have to go in and uh, yeah, and, and and do it yourself. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry guys, can't help you. But anyway, so here we go. We we we're gonna go in. We're gonna make this trade. We're really confident now that Theta is gonna go up. We've looked down the time frames. This is when you couldn't see me on here, right? So we've we've, we've gone down. We've looked at the daily. We're breaking out today, which is good. Uh, the, the the visible range, so all these are different trade areas of trade that people are trading. It's not being traded very much at the moment. So it looks like Theta is going to go up and at least reach these marks here where we've got this kind of little bit of resistance and support area here. So we're looking at maybe might might struggle to break this point. But uh, the take profit is kind of up here. I think that's the 382, isn't it? Yeah, 382. Let's just bring him. Yeah. Anyway, so the three eight two. So let's say we're going to do this. We're going to do this long. We're doing it now live. I've got some of you guys in there that have turned around and paid uh, a bit of money to be part of this uh, this trading community where I trade on a regular basis for you guys. And I turn around and say, okay, guys, I'm really certain that this is going to play out. I'm going to put a thousand bucks into this trade. So I go on. I go on to Binance or I go on to Huobi, and I put a thousand bucks live on there, and you can see it. And it starts to do really well. And you see, you know, I might have even put a, through two or three x leverage on there, and you can see that I've made myself a thousand bucks in just a few hours with a thousand pound. Right? It's doing really well. And then I turn around and I say, okay, I'm going to come out now because it's done really, really well. There's a high probability because people that are doing this, the fact that they're paying for trades and they're not doing it themselves means that they're not capable of be, of being mentally, they're not mentally capable from, from a standpoint of, uh, they're not capable from a knowledge point of view. They're not capable, for, you know, being able to read the technicals. They're not capable from an emotional point of view because they would get emotional with their trades. They're not, um, dis, they don't have enough, um, discernment isn't the word, Discipline. They're not self-disciplined enough to uh, to hold and be patient. They'll come out quickly. If it goes the opposite way, then you know, and they start losing money, they might come out quick, thinking, oh, "I'm going to lose a load of money here." So they might come out when it's not time to come out. You know, it could end up coming down a little further, and and then sort of coming around and take and and, and rocketing up. Um, and as it comes down, and they see their figure because they've that they don't do that. And then, and then the second from last, so the penultimate thing to mention is that they are um, that yeah. Well, I suppose it's the same thing. It's the patience. Money goes to the patient. I say it every day. Uh, is that the yeah, they're not patient enough? Now here comes the crux of the main thing. Right, is because people that are, that are in that category of all of those different types of personalities, which I'm not saying any of you are, but I'm saying that people that would want that. Um, lots of them would be of that category and come under some of them instead of me putting a 3x leverage in they'll be like well if tony's doing it tony's really good and he's on youtube and you know all of the, everything that he says on youtube comes true he's really he's bang on he's successful i'm gonna 10x leverage it or i'm gonna 100x leverage it and i'm gonna make loads of money here 
So you go out, you get on your credit cards, you put your credit cards in there, you go out, you get your loans, you borrow money from your mum and your dad and everyone and you stick a load of money in there and then you X leverage it. And then when it goes down a little bit, instead of just riding it down and not having any worries about it coming down before it goes back up or whatever as it starts to fluctuate, because it never just goes up. Even this, these big candles here on the ones that I was looking at earlier, which I was saying to look at, none of them just went straight up. They always go up and down, up and down, up and down as they go. And if your money goes down before it starts to go back up again, you'll get wiped. And then the only reason why you got wiped, will it be my fault? No, it won't be my fault because I would have not done the amount of leverage that other people would have done because they would have gone in heavy with the leverage. So it's really, really dangerous for people to pay for signals and then and, and not follow the specific instructions of the people that are telling them what they're doing, you know? And not only that, yeah, is is the reason why, you know, the disclaimers on my channel and on Rocky's channel and on MM Cryptos and DaVinci's, they all say, I'm not a financial advisor. This is financial. This is a. Uh, this is not. I'm not financial. Advice. It's not financial advice. And um, and do your own due diligence before you have put your hard earned cash onto the market, because they don't. And I don't want suing for your, um, for you guys losing money. Um, so that's it. And and if I lose, if I end, I, I don't put on more than I can afford to lose. So if I put a thousand dollars on there, th two things to consider is as long as I don't leverage it, then I don't lose that money until I wait. I'm in I'm in Chili's on at the minute, and Chili's is not doing very well at all. Um, but when I put my money into Chili's, which I, which I do incidentally believe that Chili's will do well, I put Chili's in when it was up here in the purple. So Chili's, as uh, you know, it's just been going down and down and down. It's only just recently that it's ended up breaking that now, and we're now above this uh, above this twenty. Interestingly, because I know that I know that some, somebody else on here who's uh, who's in Chili's. If I just bring up the moving average and find out where. Um, is chillies above the 50 because i'm really really hoping that we're kind of ending getting that way because um there you go so there's the 50 um thrifty 50 and we'll move him to a color so if mr williams doesn't mind me just mentioning him is he's someone who's in uh who's in um let's get rid of the bollinger bands who's in uh chillies and he is sensible. Uh, the reason why he's sensible is because when he went into Chili's, it, you know, he said to me, Tony, what are you doing? And I said, I think Chili's is doing really well, uh, Mr. Williams. I think it's it's really, really, you know, worth investing in. Is that he he bought into Chili's when it was when it was up where I was buying it. Right. And if we look down here from where it was when we bought it, it ended up going down like half. So you're like half your money is lost. But because we didn't leverage it, that would have been a hundred a hundred percent of 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 a balance there lost. But because it was a bought asset, um, it's just a matter of waiting until it does end up going past its it, you know past where you bought it, and then uh, to make profits. And now we're above and, and and so for the last what's that? Where did it ended up breaking? It ended up breaking it just there. So since April the twenty ninth, we've been in a bear trend, and it's only just now started to turn around and say, okay, we're in a bull trend now. Uh, where we end up, we can end up now starting to see um, uh, chillers end up going up, and I am aware that I'm looking at Bitcoin, but both Mr. Williams and myself are trading Bitcoin. That's what we, that's what we both want. We are interested in Bitcoin because we know that Bitcoin is uh, the decentralized future. So um, uh, dot is uh, something that he. So uh, Mr. Williams has been. Uh, he uh, paid me to uh, spend some time with him and uh, so I did I went out to uh, another country and sat down and spent a week with him going through uh, pretty much everything I know at the time and uh, yeah if there was a certificate to say that you've done it uh, he would have a certificate uh, but there isn't one there isn't a, a Tony Wright's crypto school of Gilead right <laughs> yeah the biblical school of, tr of crypto there isn't one so uh, yeah otherwise he would um, Corey's in the house, so uh, Corey's a great guy. Always comes on, like I'm not a cat uh, yet, so he's on. So um, nice to see you, Corey. Yeah, so here we go. Now we're in this situation where where uh, Chili's has now changed and it's in an upwards trajectory. But if Mr. Williams wasn't of that that mindset of patience and um, and uh, and uh, yeah, of all of the what I'd said a minute ago, then he could have very very easily got emotional and taken out down here when he was ringing me up saying i don't really get what's going on i said just stick with it tone stick with it 
Um, and yeah, he did, and he stuck with it, and he stuck with it. Now, it, now from where it went down there to where it is now, it's up. It's up seventy six percent. You know, from a from an up point of view. So yeah, it's, it is now on its way up, and hopefully going to start making up some new highs. Um, which it would be great if, yeah, if we can get the RSI to come down and make some hidden bullish divergence. So let's just see what happens with that. But one of the things that he did was he looked at the charts, looked at his own, did his own due diligence, and he decided to go into DOT. Now, he did this at a time where um, I was looking at DOT thinking, yeah, it's okay. It's not it's not going to be fantastic, but, you know, it. yeah, you, you, you've, you, you've done it. He didn't come to me and say, what do you think to DOT? I'm going to do this. Um, uh, he just did it of his own accord, and uh, I'm trying to bring Bollinger Bands up. So because he did that, uh, I, I I sort of told him off. I said, "Well, there's no point in ringing me up saying what do I think to dot. I've just I've just gone and done it. You should have rang me up before you put your money on there. But okay, you, you know you you know what you're doing now. I've I've kind of you know you're a butterfly. You go off and fly your wings. So he's got his he's got his money. He went into dot, and dot is doing well. A lot of the alts are going to do well now because we are in altcoin season. It goes back to, like I keep saying, that Bitcoin dominance. What's that dominance doing? All of these are in the green. So any of these are all going to do well. They are all going to do well against Bitcoin. We're in Bitcoin season. It's the ones that are doing spectacularly well, spectacularly well, like this one here, which I called out about two weeks ago on my channel, uh, this audio. this Now it's gone and, uh, yeah, Twitch are now using Twitch... Uh, uh, TikTok, sorry, are using audio, uh, uh, Audius instead of um, uh, Apple Music and Spotify. They're using Audius, which is great news for Audius. Technical analysis wouldn't have seen this. This is nothing to do with technical analysis. It, it could not. Technical analysis here could not have seen this increase in price movement. It maybe could have seen this up to here. Uh, with you know with with different patterns we've got w patterns inside w patterns going on it might have even seen here but to see it end up you know hitting up here today 270 uh, percent or whatever it was in just two days is incredible so yeah um dot so let me just uh, have a little look into dot so at the minute there is no particularly bullish news on dot that makes me go wow this is happening no inside uh, uh data into dot but um, yeah, dot versus Bitcoin, because I, I know that's where he's going to want to go. What can we do here? I've got all these lines here. They all mean different things um, uh, for, dif for different purposes or whatever. So I, I'm not a cat was asking earlier on about. No, was it I'm not a cat was asking earlier on about uh, uh, fibs, Fibonacci lines. Well, uh, would I go from the top or down here? Normally, yes, I would. And the reason why is because overall we're in a downtrend going down now. But we've just got this kind of crossover, which isn't a golden cross f per se. It's not like the 200 over the 50. But what it is, is it's saying, hey, we're above the 50 now. And also the 20 is above the 50. So really, now we're, we've we've turned, the sentiment now has turned from being in a bear trend to a bull trend. So we are now on the way up. And I think that Mr. Williams, when he bought it, he bought it around about the 31st of July. So he's doing fantastic. And it was a great choice of his. I bet he's kicking himself. Um, and there's a joke there as well. But there's a, he was kicking himself that uh, he didn't buy more. All right. So... Um, yeah, so here's the here, here's the fibs. I'm now drawing I'm now drawing up the line from the uh, from the all time top to where we are here. I'm just going to make sure that they're not flipped because it looks um, okay. That's cool. So there you go. So that's that's where we're looking at now. So my my message is really is this is a really crucial area. The six one eight is crucial, and uh, to, and 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 the and the, uh, the, the zero point six. If it was me, what I'd be looking at doing is taking my profits, um, uh, or at least a, a big chunk of them, once it's broken the 618, putting them into either Bitcoin or Tether, probably Bitcoin, and waiting for a retracement down. Uh, so uh, waiting for a retracement down to when we end up hitting off of the 20 SMA, which is the medium line of the Bollinger Band. Once the price comes back down and hits the 20 SMA, I'd then buy back into DOT again and, and, and carry on making your money. Because the 618 is such a powerful um, uh, point of, of, um, of either a turnaround in trend. And if it does turn around, then, you know, you, you, you're safe because you've taken your money off the table. And if it ends up breaking it, and ends up coming up here, 
uh, and you buy back in again, that's fine as well uh, because it is a statistical game. You could just stay in it, but you know what? If you if you stayed in it, that's very very. It's very possible that we could end up getting a big turnaround and coming down to the seven eight six before going back off again. So when when people are in this trade that are professional traders, they will take their profits out here, wait for a bounce off the seven eight six, and then go back in. So that's the that's like the the uh, traders rule book kind of. That's what they do, um, unless there's some other backdoor fundamental due diligence that they've done that says you know what something like what happened to Luna. Uh, Audius is going to happen. You know, people that worked within Lunas would have known that it was going to be announced to the public domain that TikTok was going with Audius. They would have known that and bought up. Yeah, so this is this is this is great. I'm I'm dead chuffed. I'm dead chuffed with all of my trades at the minute, and everything is going on. Hi guys, we've got some other people back in here. We've got Tabitha, um, uh, Corey, and I'm not a cat. Good, uh, they're all on the Discord discord guys take a minute just to go into my uh, youtube video that you're watching now and you'll see show more go into the show more go down and you'll see an area there that says discord sign up for it it's on ios it's on mac it's on uh, android and it's on pc get the discord and join up with the community and then send me a message in there and say hi and then you've got access to me when i'm in there it's not all the time but it is occasional and you'll be able to ask me to do any videos or uh, what do i think about certain things okay um do you only do crypto tabitha tabic to tabitha tabic to do i only do no i don't no i don't i do i i i'm in all sorts of different things if uh if yeah if you can read it on a chart i can look at it so yeah there we go um bu -bu -bu -bu. so that's that's that in a nutshell now some of my people that follow me on this are also into gmc and am amc sorry and gme it's worth having a look at that but you know obviously we're pre-market now the market hasn't opened so it can do what it wants my price targets um bg does gaming was in here uh, i was chatting to him yesterday um was it yesterday or the day before i think it was yesterday and he was asking me where i see prior, uh, uh, targets of gme and i think that gme is going to rip our faces off um the end of this month uh beginning of um september yeah end of this month beginning of september i see just like just like we saw here um in fact i'm going to bring audios because it's now on my radar for i need to keep my eye on it um yeah uh just like audio ended up doing this massive rip you out rip your face off and you you know like nuke move i think that um matt furlong is going to end up releasing some major news on gme and that it's going to have that same effect nothing to do with the short squeeze and and reddit groups and stuff i think it's just going to be the fact that gme now are you know now with with, with the way that they're moving and the the uh the um just the way that, that Matt Furlong's come in and just revamped everything, it is the new Amazon. And yeah, do you know something? I, I say that on most of my videos whenever I talk about GME, but it's not something that I've ever done. I've never gone onto GME and ordered anything, and I think I might do that um, after today's video. I'm going to find something on GME, and I'm going to buy something from them because, uh, yeah, uh, you know, I talk about how I think how great I think they are, and I do, but I've never actually uh, bought anything off of them. So... I might do that at the end of the video, uh, find something on there that I want and uh, and, and buy something. Yeah, okay, so, uh, okay, GameStop. So what I've got here is what they call a pitchfork. And uh, yeah, the uh, Peter, Peter Hewer is one of the Discord uh, favorites of mine. And uh, Peter Hewer, uh, we were talking in one of the chats, very similar to this. And um, oh, don't they? What a shame. Uh, sorry, for those of you that if... I end up keeping this video online, which I probably won't, but um, I'm Not A Cat has just messaged me in the chat, which you guys won't see, and he says that GME don't ship to the UK. You see, that might be something that they do. They might turn around and say, GME, now shipping to the UK and other parts of the world. Boom. Yeah? So there we go. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Corey, I like uh, the educational quality of your videos. I shared your video from yesterday with someone, some co-workers. Thanks, Corey. You are a ledge, as to is I'm not a cat, and I really appreciate any uh, any of you guys, all of you guys. But for you to do that, I'm really grateful for. Uh, Tabitha Tambaktu, Timbuktu, Timbuktu, Tamb Tabitha from Timbuktu. Um, is there anything you want me to look into specifically? 
Yeah, so with a uh, with with um with a uh, yeah GME, I, I've got price targets of up here at this four zero four eighty two because I think that that is something that is doable. I think something to that's doable from a technical standpoint of view. I think that you like a snowball snowball effect uh, end up getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think it's just been very quick. Uh, there's there's it's just where all the all of the all of the patterns there's a big w pattern playing out there which i thought was going to be a cup and handle back in the day i three four four five weeks ago and uh yeah i, I can see it turning around now um is it above that 50 now are we above the 50 no we're, no it's not going to be above the 50 because it's not above the 20 hang on a sec um so we've got the bollinger bands in anybody of you that doesn't know this 20 uh this medium line of a bollinger band is the 20 sma so it's still effectively in a bearish trend even though we've had some green candles it is still bearish uh, and we're not going to be bullish until we end up passing that but i i i'm really hopeful that we'll end up crossing that crossing the 50 and then away we go with some something matt furlong will bring something out so electro boy uh also for gamestop you should become a pro player member pro player member i don't know what a pro player member is um but it's something that i will write down now and then after my stream i've got a couple of phone calls to make to people that i've promised that i will call and uh yeah i will have um i will have a look into that um Pro player. Pro player. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So you wanted me to look at MMAT. I'm sure I did that. I've done that before. That rings a bell. MMAT. What's MMAT? Let me have a look for you. Um, MMAT. And whilst I'm looking at MMAT, tell me what it is that you want. Ah, it's not on. Oh, it's gone to all. It's not a crypto. Have a look. Uh, so I'm going to, I guess it's the NASDAQ. So tell me what it is that you want me to have a look for, buddy. Is it take profits? Is it uh, is it entry prices? Um, uh, is it where do I think it's going? I'm worried about it. Should I invest in it? What is your question? Um, and you earn points. Ooh. I might even have a look where we're online. Um, where do you think it's going? Okay, so fundamentally, I don't really know much about it. So I can't say from a fundamental point of view. But I can say that we've had two big, big, um, big spikes there. Um, let's go on to the weekly and the monthly. Okay. What a month that was, wow. And that's where we are now. Excuse me for talk, not talking a minute. Um, um, bum, 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 bum. Let me hide him. Give me a sec, guys. I don't know. Something's happened with my. Uh, something's happened with my um, Ichimoku Cloud settings. They've defaulted back to. Don't know. I want my lagging span off as well. I'm not interested in that. Um, and I'm going to go to defaults. I'm going to save as default. There we go. Press OK. Well, I can see what I'm doing now. Um, ba -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. I've got an EMA on there that's messing me up as well. Uh, EMA, so it's prices below the 20 EMA. Okay. Do you know what? It's 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 a uh, it's like a it's it's been manipulated, isn't it? It's been short squeezed, or something's happened. And what happens when you get this, it, things become really difficult to uh, analyze from an uh, analytic point of view. Um, so let's just bring him off, bring him back on. 
it just makes it really really difficult okay so where do i see it going well when you when you look at the bollinger bands one of the great things about the bollinger bands was john bollinger when he's when he did all the coding for this and he came up with it all is um he came to a realization that when when you get a, a, what what they call a squeeze where you get this um where you, where you literally get your squeeze where the two lines of the two external lines of the bollinger bands end up tightening up is the longer they go tight for then the bigger the bulge the bigger the bulge is the more volatile the move so we ended up with this really long move here here's the bowl the bowl of the bollinger band so you get this really long move which means that and 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 that was the little squeeze for this one and then if we look at the if we look at the uh I mean, that was a 60% move to the downside with just a squeeze of just a couple of weeks. So now we've had this massive squeeze here. Whilst within inside this squeeze, I'm sure, I mean, sure, they're probably, you know, they're still 40% moves. So they're still big moves, but they're nothing compared to what ended up happening. But we ended up having this squeeze for a long period of time. And on both occasions, we ended up getting this ma massive rally up. So if we go from the actual breakout, which I personally would say the breakout was here because, you know, we're still with it. Yeah, yeah, it started going up. But the major breakout was this green candle here. And that's when we ended up going down, retracing down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band and then going up to the all time high there. If we just look at what that is, that's a 500 percent increase. Yeah. So that was a long squeeze. And then we ended up getting this kind of kind of squeeze. And then we ended up having another big one. But that went far too big. We had two big gaps. We had a, we had a gap just there um, on, on that. I mean, that wasn't even a weekend. That was a day. No, no, that was a weekend. I was going to say that's that's I haven't seen anything that big before. Yeah. See, it says the 18th and then the 21st. So the 18th would have been a Friday. The June the June the eighteenth would have been a Friday, and then the Monday. So you had this big gap here. Then we ended up coming down, and then here uh, we were coming down fast, uh, which was on the twenty second, and then on the twenty third we've opened, and then we've got this big gap here. So yeah, um, and this is on the Nasdaq, I think it was. Wasn't was it was this on the Nasdaq? Um, I'm pretty sure this was on the Nasdaq. Yeah, so what's happening now? My point is, is we've come down now. We're having this squeeze here again. And is there a chance that we can come down and end up making lower lows than, than it's ever been? Now, this comp this, whoever they are, I'll have a look in a minute. Meta Materials, I've heard of them, but I, I don't know what they are. They, um, they yeah they've been going a long time so for them to for them to drastically come down here is unlikely the rsi is already down really low it would be nice for them to come down a little bit uh, i'm just on about like a this isn't a macro time frame this is like i'm looking at like the next week two weeks kind of period next week within within this week to two weeks tops um is is what could happen is that it would be nice for the rsi to end up coming down and reaching kind of where this rsi was here and then once the rsi comes down here we get a little bit of a, a more of a a, a a down hit maybe to where this where this stops this i can kind of see this happening uh just experience tells me this that this is what's going to happen i don't think we've got much room for downside um in fact i would say short term i think we'll probably end up going up uh, retesting the 20 SMA uh, on the daily uh, will probably end up coming up a couple of times and as we end up coming up and down create some bullish divergence here if we can break the uh, this 30 line here of the RSI whilst we're on a on a, on the on the bottom of this squeeze like maybe just come out a wick out of the squeeze for the day then I think it's potentially possible we could have some massive price action on this, like another one of these massive bull runs up. Um, but this will be a this will be a manipulation, a snowball effect. Uh, a lot of people will be looking at this. The volume will come in and go nuts, like it did here. Uh, yeah, it will all end up happening, but it will all happen, and I think it will catch a lot of people out. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll be he who dares wins at that point there. You know, you'll end up having a 30% move in the day. Uh, and it'll be one of those things where you're looking at it going 30%. Should I go in? Shouldn't I? And then you don't. And then it goes up to 60% in the same day. And then you think, oh, sugar, I should have put it in when it was at 30%. And then you think it's 60% so now it's too big. And then, you know, it goes up to 80%. And you go, oh, Sean, I should have gone in at 60 and the 30 and I didn't. I think, All right, I'll go in now then. You go in at 80% and then it drops down by 80% the next hour. So, yeah, it's one of those ones where you, he who dares wins getting quickly. 
I think it's that kind of thing that's going to happen. Um, they issued a special dividend and they have uh, preferred they and I have preferred shares in my account with no price. Also, thank you so much for the great TA. You're cool. No problem. Great stream, Tony. Hope the weather is uh, is better down there. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's the Peak District up there. Okay. Well, one of my friends uh, has just been at the Peak District, and I've got family up that way. And I was born in Sheffield, so it's not too far away from Peak District. So next time I go up there, I'll be in touch. And that's can put us up, from perhaps got up Blue John Mans and do some trading on the top of the hill there. Okay, as I got reception up there. Okay, so um, that's it. That's it, that guys. That's everything I wanted to talk about and far more. Point is about trading earlier and doing it live for everybody. Is you know what you go, you end up, you end up, um, people end up listening to what you're saying and putting on more. You know, you turn around and say, I'm going to buy a little bit here. They end up doing a 10x leverage and then they'll get wiped out. And and it's a shame because people can't. People find it difficult to look at somebody else who's more experienced that and say, well, if they're doing that, 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 that just natural, our natural inkling, I suppose it's greed, turns around and says, well, I want more. So I'm going to leverage it. I'm going to, you know, put more on my credit card or whatever and, and go in for this trade instead of just sit back in and chilling. All right, guys, like I said, if you guys have been here and listened to this TA today, I'm going to delete this video, I'm afraid, because of, the, of all of the mess ups and hash ups. That ended up happening at the beginning so it's a shame because there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, good stuff in today's episode and uh yeah so i want to say good goodbye to everybody uh just up the road from the mines haha <laughs> pints on me when you're up here nice one matthew uh that's cool yeah i am um, blue john mines nice nice area of the country uh yeah um yeah and those mines those mines are pretty pretty scary when you go on that boat and it takes you through the mines yeah, I've been there a couple of times. And it stinks down there as well. I mean, there's some of that 100 and hundred odd steps down. And you go down into a big cave and this boat pulls you across. And then you look at all of the uh, those different alites, uh, atholites and macolites or whatever that come from the ceiling and, and the floor and, and the caves where they drip and you get the salt deposits and whatever. I don't know what they're called. It's been a long time. Um, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to turn around and try and find the uh, the exit button. Uh, close the Discord down for now. Um, feel free to like, guys, that are still here. Press the like button. Uh, don't share with your friends this video because I'm going to delete it. It'll be a waste of time. And um, are you sure you want to exit? No, for now. Just need to find the end live stream button so that I can clear off and get out of here. And I found it. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, if uh, yeah, if there's anything that is uh, on my radar that I think needs to be mentioned, I wanted to do a tuition video today on on some bits, but uh, yeah, looks like that hasn't happened because of uh, yeah audio. Um, it's doing really well, so I'm going to close these down, and I'm going to turn this one off and say goodbye to you all. See you later. <laughs>